You know, there are a lot of magicians out there who are looking for a bridge between magic and mentalism. They enjoy performing the magic they have, but they also want to add something that has that mentalism flair, but they just don't know where to begin. And if you haven't experimented with some mentalism or mental magic in your act, let me tell you that as far back as Harlan Tarbell, they were writing about how one little piece of mentalism can elevate your entire act and totally change the perception of your audience. In this episode of Erudite Magic, we're going to be discussing an author and his books that can help you add some mental flavor to your act, whether you're a magician or a mentalist. The author is Barry Richardson, and the book is Theater of the Mind. Yes, that's right, these books are back in print. Penguin Magic purchased the rights to the Hermetic Press stable of books, and they have just now re-released Theater of the Mind, Act Two, and Curtain Call, the original Barry Richardson trilogy. Once upon a time, these books were a slam dunk to recommend, and I still highly recommend them, but we need to talk about that price point. You might be asking yourself, who is Barry Richardson and why should you care? Well. Barry Richardson was an academic. He got his doctorate, he became the dean of a school, and of course he performed magic and mentalism as a motivational speaker and a member of the Psychic Entertainers Association. Because of his background and being a part-time professional, Dr. Richardson created the kind of magic and mentalism that you and I like to perform. He did everything from close up when he was hanging out with his friends at a party to parlor and stage presentations for when he was giving more formal presentations or motivational speaking. Interestingly enough, prior to publishing this book, Dr. Richardson was not that well known in his native United States. Instead, most of his tricks were published in British periodicals before Hermetic Press came to him to put together this compilation. This hardback 300 plus page book was published back in 1999, and it contains 53 of Dr. Richardson's greatest creations up to that point. The book is broken up into different sections so that you can browse around and find something that will appeal to you in your performance conditions. So for example, the beginning starts with classics, which frankly are bigger pieces that are typically for a parlor size audience, things like Bill and Lemon. So if you don't already do a Bill and Lemon, there's a terrific version in here. And if you already perform one, I'm sure there'll be touches that you will learn from Barry Richardson Richardson's presentation that will inform your own presentation. There are sections in here related to animations, a haunted key, a suspended cup from a spoon, various psychokinetic type touches and routines, but all done in interesting and novel ways. You're always getting Barry Richardson's complete presentation with his script, how the trick works, everything you'll need to know to go from not knowing anything about this type of trick to performing it for an appreciative audience. There are tricks that make you look like you've completely memorized either a deck of cards or a magazine or various other props, a prediction effect from inside a balloon that's tossed around, people calling out various random objects, and when the balloon is popped, a prediction is inside that matches everything that your random participants have called out. There's also a section called Intimate Mentalism with close-up pieces teaching you a version of the center tear, a trick that I personally use a good bit called Little Jackpot Coins, which is a version of the trick that fooled Einstein, but done close up and just a great trick. And possibly what he's most well known for in this book is his work on the any card at any number problem, providing many solutions, everything from close up to stage. Of course, you can tell by the sound of all of these different tricks and the variety of performance venues that you can use them in that there are a lot of different props used. There's cards and paper clips and rings and glasses and spoons and keys. So there's a wide variety of different types of magic that you could present. Not only that, but none of this is really that hard to do. I have found almost everything in here is a real worker because Barry Richardson only put things in print that he had actually performed for audiences. Now, I'm sure not all of the audiences were paying audiences, and he was still a part-time professional, so I'm not telling you that all of these routines will play for a hardened crowd in the streets of Vegas, but what I am telling you is that if you're into sophisticated, erudite, and intelligent magic, there's a lot to like here. I mentioned at the beginning of the episode that this is a bridge, and that's what I think this book is for the magician who's 
thinking about adding that one or two pieces or maybe just dipping their toe into the water of mentalism or doesn't like mentalism and the seriousness of the presentations, this is a great way to take somebody who is very passionate about magic and didn't get caught up in a lot of these silly differentiations between pure mentalism and mental magic. He just wanted to share things with an audience who would love the surprise and wonder of it all. So this book is perfect for the performer who wants to move from magic and get a little bit further into mentalism. When these books were originally published, they were approximately $45. And that's what I got mine for back in the day. And a few of you got lucky by purchasing them when they were announced that they were being reprinted for that same price. However, the post-publication price has jumped up to $70, and that makes it a little more difficult to give a wholehearted recommendation. Now, I still think that these books are totally worth it for the value of what you're getting. Real workers from someone who actually performed them and did so in a variety of situations. But I recognize this is a big investment, but if you're interested in taking this step from magic, and of course, Bill and Lemon is still magic, but if you want to try to learn some of these secrets from Dr. Richardson, and take that next step into mentalism, then I highly recommend Theater of the Mind. As always, my friends, I appreciate you watching. And until next time, keep reading.